Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. This is going to be a reading for Aries. Uh, the timing of this is mid-April 2022, but uh, that's just going to be sort of an anchor point for the reading. So people can either watch it when it's fresh and apply it, or just whenever you happen upon it. So the if I'm discussing any current astrology, that's where those aspects are coming from. But it's really whenever you hit that point in space-time. Uh, I don't want to get into that. I don't want to belabor that point too much. So I'm Aries here. I had the Aquarian Tarot undo itself while I was throwing my pile of decks on the table. So we're going to start with that one. Um, and I've got my phrase deck here to get a topic for the reading. And I'm only going to get a few cards off of the pile because the body of the reading is mostly going to be made up out of one of my chapbook packs, which is going to be for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, I've just redone all of the ones that I've got because I had to update some some of the information in the pieces, but um, the the ones that I'm pulling from are complete packets, they're just not sealed, and I probably after learning the hard way about four or five times, I'm probably not going to seal them up until they're ready to be mailed out to whoever purchases them. So we're going to be pulling from the loud noises I'm going to be pulling from my the rainbow envelopes that are like plain and able to be written on and sold individually instead of the heaps of random busy and dark envelopes like these. So we're not going to be using these ones. These ones are all sealed up anyway um, and I'm not about to rip them open again. Um, but I'm going to be pulling from the complete pack completely packed rainbow ones here. So that's going to be the main bulk of the reading and I just did a sample video that showcases more of the packets. Um, <coughs> and again you can purchase them on my Etsy shop and there's a coupon code for that and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. So let me get started here. I did clear and shuffle these already. Just get them a little bit more. Oh, come on. Failure, Will Robinson. Alright, I think that's good enough for government purposes. Sun is still in Aries while I'm doing this on uh, happy birthday to Aries where applicable get fire elemental Mars planet which is where is Aries right now? No, Mars. Mars is in As I'm doing this reading, Mars is in Aquarius, hence the Aquarian tarot apparently, and is gonna be moving into Pisces in a little bit. In a few days. Alright. I actually had reason to look up the astrological symbols this month. Alright, so what do we got here for the topic? 78. Enhanced calm, they're coming out. The cat emerges from the bag. Okay. So this could be related to LGBT issues or it could just be something hidden being revealed. Is there a card that... I'm just trying to think if there's a card that's related to that. Probably the moon. Full moon on the 16th. Oh, okay, I got a card that slid out on the bottom. I need two more. Okay, I've got 
three here, so I guess I can take all of them. All right, so five of pentacles inverted seems to be possibly part of the hidden issue. Is that? I feel like that's not quite. Okay, five of pentacles inverted. I've reassigned this Uranus energy in Taurus inverted, which would relate to moving away from Aquarius. We have the full, also Uranus energy. This, um, that's like a Pisces. Moving into Pisces, stepping away from Aquarian energy. We have the Page of Pentacles, which I've assigned Plutonic energy. And the Queen of Rods, Queen of Wands, and she is Pisces and Aries energy. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? So we have a timeline here. Shifting out of shifting out of this phase of being stuck looking at things that make you feel like you're missing out. Like uh, this is like a, a, a an ego of lack. Stepping away from that. Stepping away from constantly being in that mindset of missing out or being uh, shut out, cast out of something, and making, beginning to make actual progress in manifesting essentially your heart's desire. This page looks kind of morose but is drawn more maturely than the fool. And it's indicative that there's like a growth, a maturation happening here. I see masculine and feminine energy working through here. So let me get a packet. This purple one is looking at me. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so I have Triceratops and Styracosaurus drawn in a sort of slanty pendant type fashion. These are two different forms of the same thing. Right? I'm I'm maturing. I've gone from three horns to a crest of horns. So and also, um, this hat is smaller, it's got a couple feathers. This hat is bigger, it's got a bunch of feathers on it. There's some kind of a crown opening here. And we do have this purple to indicate that as well. This is also kind of looking back towards ancient history. Um, like something in like it could be something like in the fossil record but we see that there's it's sort of a representation of something that used to be it's sort of comparing two older methods of how things were but that's not as important as the crown activation aspect and that there's morphs happening okay so this is a geometric situation this is a little bit of squaring the circle, but it's also um, putting a dome on top of a cube and the geometry that moves in there. This is probably something related, but um, is different. It's just a, 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 a rotation of a pattern. Um, and there could be more going on there, but it, I'm not really worried about that right now. This is, again, this is sort of a crown activation. This sphere is crowning through the top of the cube. <coughs> and a cube can represent Earth. 
and the sphere can represent like a material, um, a, a, like a spiritual thing. So the spirituality is coming through the material or the idea. Um, but it's also masculine and feminine energy working together. The angular versus the, the round. Right? It's, there, it's, it's like, um, instead of overthinking something, I'm allowing my creative flow to nurture my ideas. You know, I'm trying to realign, I'm trying to realign my thinking. This is a little bit like the Two of Swords over here. And this is a little bit more like the Lovers over here. There's a, there's like a, a healing starting to begin. Okay, so these printed cards that come in here, I have, this is Amore, and this is a Blanket, and these are Pillows. So again, with the, there's this idea of the Lovers that I mentioned here as a healing. There's a nurturing, there's a comforting, there's a little bit of a, a rejuvenation happening. And with this uh, cover for my book, Lantern, is that in focus? This um, drawing is Bugia de los Muertos, and it's available on my... The drawing itself is available in my Etsy shop and the, the book on Amazon. The This is, you know, a death, a dead thing looking into a candle. There's a meditative quality, but there's also crown activation. There's, I think these are marigolds up here. And then there's some, there's an enhancement to the vision of the material world, right? There's crystallization happening in terms of the vision. And the candle is this, this sort of enlightenment. It's kind of like the hermit, but also um, like the hanged man turning upside down and also like the death card. Again, I think I said rejuvenation with this. There's an awakening moment and um, an enhancement of vision, basically. It's like the, the way that your consciousness m operates is shifting and being able to connect more with your deep subconscious in order to manifest right? It's coming out. The cat emerges from the bag. What is the cat? The cat is like the, the sort of like the life purpose here. Speaking of cat, here's Elvis. And he's dressed up as Elvis. So there's, there's this idea that there's a dual nature to things that there's different morphs of the same thing, which is happening over here with the Ceratopsians as well. So what are we going to read here? I think we're going to read Blind. <clears throat> Listen to the pealing thunder as my laughter erupts forth, though you haven't ears. See my smile crease the still mask of my face, though you lack eyes. Though you lack eyes. Reach with your thoughts. You have no fingers to touch. Try, if you will, to grasp me. Absorb the silent screams as the kaleidoscope of mind and mind connects. That's what's going on here. Learn to communicate, okay? So Aquarian energy is about communication. It's about how people communicate with each other in society. It's about thoughts, perceptions. It's that very air quality. So you could, you might be um, like thinking, 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 thinking in your head, but then you might have a hard time communicating what you need or what you want to other people. This coming out thing is like, I'm, my voice is coming out, right? Cat got your tongue. Well, the tongue is coming out of the bag, your head. It's, it's not being ripped out. It's being able to, to 
put its energy out into the world. I'm like, my tongue is coming out. I'm, my words, my ideas my, are coming out. And speaking of that, we have Lestat here in his rock phase, which is hilarious because not only is he dead, but he's also now broadcasting his voice to the world. And in terms of vision, he's wearing sunglasses, which is another focus on perception and expression. So I think what's happening here for Aries is you're being uh, kind of pushed through, you know, like when you put the Play-Doh in the press and you do the lever and it comes out and it's like spaghetti or whatever the hell the thing is making. It's, um, Aries is being pressed through the other elements. There's, there's earth energy here, manifestation, and the physical body, healing, whatever. There's air, the lover's energy, Gemini energy, which is the year overall, because it's a six year. And then you have the Aquarian energy that's coming through very strongly. And the Piscean energy, which is water, this deep subconscious. So consciousness and subconscious being threaded together in order to open up Aries's vision in multiple senses to start manifesting your heart's desire. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, and then just sort of, if you want more information about the stuff that I have available, just kind of skip to the very end of the video of the last couple minutes and um, you'll have that. Or just look down in the description box. All right. Um, oh, it, I forgot I wasn't doing a, I forgot I wasn't doing a bunch of videos at once. Um, this is the end of the video. Um, know where I was going with that. I thought I did it. I just did a pick a pile. So my brain was still thinking I was doing that. Um, all right. So those packets are available on Etsy coupon code three star 17. You get three or more items. You get 17% off. And uh, you can see my card of the day on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you found this helpful, useful, or interesting in some way, and or you enjoyed my other free content on YouTube, consider energy exchange, tip jar, donation. That's PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. You can get Lantern, that book with the skull on it, in the poems, on Amazon, the Kindle Direct Publishing, and I've got coloring books there, uh, merch, prints, and actual art items. So check that out. Everything is through the link tree, linktr.ee slash Cat the Minion, and the list of readings that I offer for sale are in the description box down below, or you can download the PDF off my WordPress, or you can email me and I'll send you that PDF as well. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, check out my playlists tab, and stay groovy, and we'll see you later. Bye.